today, guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change out your bathtub and enclosure in your RV. As uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that uh, I have a Puma uh, fifth wheel. And um, I've been slowly fixing it up here and there. And uh, today I'm changing out the shower enclosure because I have some cracks and leaking. And, uh, well, here we go. Here's the new tub that I'm going to be installing. And that's the new enclosure. But here's what I have. It's uh, cracking down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And, uh, it's got cracks up here and it's generally just old and cruddy and so today now I've already went and removed all of the the pins that hold it in uh, again I got started without the camera so uh, I'm gonna show you how to change this out well to start off uh, you have to if your camper has one of these panels you're in luck because this is what you need to, to get to get access to the faucet and other plumbing fixtures at the back side of that shower en enclosure. Okay, set that aside so I don't lose the screws. Okay, you can see in here, your water lines just screw on. They're really easy to take off. They just unscrew them like that. And normally, you would have two of these uh, little wing nuts. I already loosened one off and it fell down inside there. So, uh, for demonstration purposes, I left this one on. But you just take this off. Okay, set that aside. And then you kind of come in here. Let me set up the tripod here so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then it just pulls out of the wall. Simple as you please. And you can disconnect your shower hose from underneath that. And then... You come up here to uh, where the shower head is and you just take that off and set that aside. Uh, grab your handy drill. This makes taking this apart a lot easier. Let me set the camera down for a second here. Woo Hopefully that didn't fall down the drain. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Just now all of these screws use a number two square bit. Um, you can also use a Phillips uh, screw bit, but square head actually works a little bit better. Now. You can see where I've already popped this loose all the way around, but there was a line of caulk all the way around it. And these are held on with double back tape. And what you have to do with that is either get a little pry bar like this one, or a putty knife, something thin, because you don't want to crack this piece here because you have to reuse this especially if you have the accordion style uh, shower door so you just kind of pop that in there you know here there was screws holding it in I've already removed the screws but you can get in behind it and just wiggle that in there and pop it loose now I've already popped it loose too so um, you have to work at it because there's double back tape on this and caulk 
So that's the what it'll look like after you pull it out because uh, the double back tape and you can see the mess it's here. Fortunately, I'm replacing this, so I didn't have to be real gentle with it, but I did not break it when I pulled it loose. Same from when I pulled it from the wall. Okay, now that you've got now that you've got your trim piece popped loose here, you have to do the same thing to the bottom as you did to the side. Now, like I said, you can use a putty knife or you can use that little pry bar or something like that, something kind of thin to get up underneath this and, you know, work that double-sided tape loose. And so you can just kind of work it, work it, pop it loose and pull it out. Now you're going to have to do the same thing back here to where your shower door hooks up. The shower door is the same way. It's got a trim piece on the back side of it as well. And that you're going to have to pull and get in there and, and pop out. And then once that's all done, this should pop right loose. You're going to have to pull all those little pins and stuff in there. And uh, you can take a, a putty knife or, or a box cutter blade um, and go around the bottom of the tub and cut that, cut that caulk so that it'll just pull loose. So let me show you how easy it is to take this thing out of here. The camera angles are going to be kind of weird because this is a very small bathroom. But once you get all that free, it just pulls right out. And then you just have to work it out of here. Okay, now that the enclosure is out, you have to get the tub out. Now on this one here, there's uh, like four screws that held it in. I've removed those four screws. And as an added bonus for the drain spud down there, I had to go into the basement of my trailer, which is right directly underneath here, and remove part of the plumbing fixture which I've just got loosely attached to the new tub now pardon the mess here I'm working in confined spaces and by myself <laughs> so so this is what it would be like on the bottom of that tub um, you just kind of take and unscrew this pipe and this pipe is screwed into the pipe down below using this ring and it's got a seal here and you got a seal here don't lose the seal if you do you can replace it but you cannot use uh, I found out this the hard way. This black pipe is specific to um, RVs and mobile homes. So you can't go to Home Depot or Lowe's or some place like that and get PVC pipe. It won't work. It's different sizes, different thread counts. You have to actually go and get the black pipe. Um, fortunately for me, just uh, about six or seven miles from my house, there's a um, mobile home parts supplier, and I was able to go over there and get the new seal, uh, both of the new seals, and a nice chrome shiny uh, drain. The one that was in there uh, was just plastic, and it didn't have a drain cap. This one here has a drain cap that uh, that locks down, and... Uh, and locks up and it stays in there you never you're never gonna lose that 
and as you can see it threads right on there got that at the mo the the mobile home uh, parts place so this is the new tub and uh, let me show you how you get that old tub out of there So this is after you get the the drain pipe uh, disconnected on the bottom, you can just uh, basically come in here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Just come in here, swing your shower door out of the way and the tub just lifts right out. Now, some of these were caulked around the edges, and you may have to take a knife and cut that caulk loose. Mine uh, was just held in with a couple of screws around the perimeter, like here, back here, down over here, and one down over here. So, just take the screws out. Remember to disconnect your uh, drain pipe from the bottom and uh, then you can just lift the tub right out of there. Once you get the tub out, just take it, set it aside. So for me, I have a little prep and cleanup I have to do in here. Because of the leak, you can see back here where the linoleum has started to peel up and um, I got a mouse nest in here. That's because right down here is my basement and you can see the drain pipe in there. Um, and so I got to clean all this up and uh, do some uh, little repair work, try to nail that uh, linoleum back down and uh, then I'll be all set to install the new tub okay here's my solution for the uh, linoleum that was uh, rolling up um, it's just a piece of uh, quarter inch by one inch plastic uh, trim that I got from uh, one of the local stores and I took my heat gun and uh, warmed up the linoleum so I could get it to lay down and then I tacked it down with uh, a couple of brads. Hopefully that'll hold in place. Um, unfortunately, I'll never know if it if it pulls up or not because once I get this tub in here, it's going to be semi-permanent. But other than that, I'm ready to start my install. All right, here's the uh, drain plug that I was talking about earlier. And uh, we're going to uh, apply some plumber's uh, tape to it um, just to help seal it when it goes into the tub. And uh, knife. Holy smokes, I've lost it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm just going to put a bead of this around here. I'm just going to work it in until it seals up really well and then uh, we're going to go from there and uh, I'll show you how to install this. Now don't worry about putting too much of this on there because it's going to squish out and you just trim off the excess but it's always better to have a little bit more than what you need than not have enough on there. You want to make sure you have a good seal. Okay, so Oh my goodness. I put that wing nut. Ah, there it is. Okay, this is the nut and rubber washer that goes on the back side of this. And uh, you just slide it in. Set this up here. You slide it in from the inside. Put your rubber washer on there. Screw that up as tight as you can get it. You know, you don't want to over tighten it obviously because it'll cause issues, but you want to get it as tight in there as you can. 
because that way there you won't uh, have any leaks. Okay, I know they make a specific wrench for doing this. I don't have that. All I have is a pair of channel locks, so I'm just going to use that. And uh, it seems to be working. Just, you know, take your time. It's not a, a race. Just make sure you got it good and snug. that's going to do it. Let's spin it around. Let's take a look at the inside there. Now you see some of that plumber's putty has oozed out and that's fine. And I'll cut that off, uh, you know, trim it up once I get this installed in place. And uh, let's, gonna go, let's go ahead and go do that right now. Okay, like I was telling you earlier, uh, you can buy those new seals uh, for the pipe and I figure if I've got this taken apart um, Might as well go ahead and put new seals in there because You know, I don't want to take any chances That it's going to start leaking later on and it was all because of a seal that I should have Replaced when I did all of this so Let's go ahead and put this new seal on here get this pushed inside like it's supposed to go And you just screw that on until it's good and snug. And this seal here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's turn that around. This seal here just slides off. And the new one just slides right on in its place. Now this attaches to the P-trap that's below the floor there. Okay, I'm all set to take take this in there and install it. Okay, the original tub had uh, a styrofoam base on it that gave the tub support. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way. I should have done this already. Uh, it gave it some support. What I found out was that this tub is just less than an inch shorter in depth than the original tub that was in here. So what I've done is I took the uh, styrofoam uh, support that they had in that original tub and I added this really thin sheet of Luon. It's uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, just to give it a little bit more strength. And uh, I'll just set that in here, kind of get it kind of centered. Now it was glued in to the, uh, it was glued on the bottom of the original tub. And this installation here, it's just gonna be free floating. And uh, so I hope that that works out okay. So, let's get our tub in here. Yeah, figures. There we go. It's kind of tricky getting it through that doorway with that piece of pipe on there. Now that I've got it kind of set in place, uh, let's go outside and uh, go in the basement and uh, hook up that drain pipe. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Now, as you can see, my basement is not as big as most fifth wheels, so it's a little difficult to get in here. But just pop that pipe down in place, pull that cap down. Fight with it a little bit, and then you got it started. And again, get that as tight as you can.
Make sure all of them are tight. There we go. Piece of cake. Hey guys, Boats here. Thanks for watching part one of my two part series on how to change out your RV bathtub and enclosure. Part two will be coming very soon, so please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you know when that new video has arrived. If you like this video, make sure that to hit that thumbs up button. It helps others to see my videos. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to write them down below. I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. Make sure that you come back to watch part two. You won't want to miss the conclusion. See you next time.